Hey guys, so for today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I actually switched up my filming setup completely different and where I'm sitting right now is actually what you're going to be seeing behind me and I'm going to be using a different table during filming because I really wanted to switch up my background. I wasn't very happy with the way that it was looking. I had kind of an old like two shelf furniture thing that just... I, I don't know, I just wasn't a huge fan of it and I finally decided to just completely switch things up. So I decided that I want to turn this uh, drawer that I have in this desk. Well, you can't actually see it, but I will insert a clip of it. I'm gonna turn this drawer into my everyday makeup drawer, which I don't currently have one. I kind of just have all of my makeup either on the table that I film. I just have like a few things there that I reach for like all the time. And then I have one Ikea Alex uh, drawer thing. I just want to have like one drawer of my everyday makeup, just the stuff that I reach for. Not on a daily basis because I don't wear makeup every day, but just when I want to do a like an easy everyday look. I just want to have all of my essentials in one drawer, so that's what I'm going to be using this drawer for. So this is what the drawer looks like now that I threw away a bunch of pretty much trash that I had in here for like over a year, but it's looking really nice and clean now. I did go ahead and keep my nail polishes in here just because I want to reach for them more often. I just don't do it because I get kind of lazy about it. And since I do have one hand, it is pretty tricky to get my nails to look right. So I just kind of put it off. And then I just have uh, like a scrunchie there and a hairbrush and then my e.l.f. selfie light, which I rarely use, but I probably should use it more often. And this is the top of my desk currently. I am going to try to find a way to fix it up. I just don't know how. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any like DIY kind of suggestions. I really want to fix up the top of this desk because I'm just not planning on buying another desk, at least not in a really long time. So yeah, let me know. So in this first drawer, I have my more colorful palettes. I like to keep these in the first drawer just so that I can remember to use them. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna take any palettes from here for my everyday makeup. So I'm gonna close this one up and move on to the next drawer. Let's start with, ooh, the Persona Identity Palette. This one I freaking love. I remember I used to reach for this all the time when I first purchased it and I just started reaching for other palettes so that's why I haven't really used this in a while but I mean this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. It's just such a nice neutral everyday palette but it does have a couple of more cool tone shades so I might actually put this in my everyday makeup. And then we have the Urban Decay Born to Run. This one I do really like, but I don't know why I just don't reach for it that often. It does have some really nice sort of everyday shades in here, but I guess it is more of a colorful palette. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would put this in my everyday makeup drawer, so I think I'm just going to stick to the Persona Identity Palette. I'm just going to skip this drawer right here because I have a bunch of new makeup. I want to film a full face first impressions really soon. So moving on to the next drawer. This drawer, I have all of my foundations, concealers, uh, setting sprays, primers. So I think I'm definitely going to take out the Tarte CC under eye corrector. This is in the shade light medium. I really like this because it's nice and creamy and it has such a nice peachy tone to it. So I can just use this either on its own or with like a more brightening shade over top of it and it works really well. So this one I'm definitely going to take. And also my Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. I have two shades here. This one is in the shade 15 Light, which is my highlighting shade. I also have 20 sand, which is more of my skin tone. So I'm definitely taking those three concealers. I don't think I want to take an actual eyeshadow primer. I do really like this Urban Decay 
eyeshadow primer potion but for an everyday basis I tend to stick to concealer so I think that's about it for that I'm definitely taking my Smashbox photo finish primerizer this one I like using over top of my moisturizer I did used to use this on its own but I just feel like it's not hydrating enough for me on its own anymore but I do like this as a primer it doesn't really help to make my makeup last too long but it just makes everything go on nice and smoothly and it just gives me a bit more hydration so I'm definitely taking this one and then I don't know if I also want to take the Smashbox photo finish primer water this is in the love ritual scent which I think is limited edition I do like using this on an everyday basis sometimes I just use this and I skip the uh, primerizer but yeah I do like them combined as well so I think I'm also going to take this I'm gonna take the Milani make it last setting spray I love using this for my everyday makeup because even though I love the all-nighter setting spray from Urban Decay I just don't want to use it up too quickly since it is on the pricier side so I am gonna leave this in here so I am gonna take the Milani setting spray for my foundation I think I want to take the Physicians Formula the healthy foundation I have mine in the shade MW2 this is almost a perfect match for me and I just love how easy it is to blend out I can literally blend this out in like a few seconds it just doesn't take much effort at all it does last really nice on my skin and then I think I also want to take the L'Oreal true match foundation just because it's so lightweight I have mine in the shade W4 natural beige so yeah I think this one is going in here as well okay I think that's it for this drawer this next drawer I have all of my lashes which I don't have that many of I might wear them every once in a while just for like a makeup tutorial but they just irritate my eyes so much that I try to avoid them here I have my milk makeup matte bronzer in the shade baked this one I love using on an everyday basis so I'm gonna take this I also have a cream blush from flower beauty which I'm thinking of actually putting this in my everyday makeup drawer since I don't use it very often just because I forget about it but yeah I definitely want to get some more use out of this so I'm gonna take this one and I have a few cream highlighters in here which I do really like but on an everyday basis I just don't really reach for so that's it for this drawer this next drawer I have my blushes bronzers and setting powders I'm definitely gonna take the cover effects perfect setting powder I really like this one because it's not as drying as the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder which is also one of my favorites but I think this one especially for the winter I'm really gonna get some use out of so I'm gonna take this for bronzer you already know the physicians formula butter bronzer it's pretty much the perfect bronzer definitely my all-time favorite so i'm gonna take this and of course i'm also gonna have to take the becca gradient sunlit bronzer in the shade sunrise waves such a glowy bronzer that i like to pair with the milk makeup matte bronzer i like layering this over top of that it just looks so pretty on the skin and it also has the opal highlighter built into it I mean I've done my eyeshadow with this as well and it looks so pretty so yes for this one Ooh, and this might be too many bronzers but I think I want to take this this is the uh, NARS Laguna bronzer which I recently got for free in like an Ulta order that I placed it's just a mini but I love how glowy this is it's not too much though it doesn't look shimmery on me or anything yeah I think I'm gonna take this one too I know that's three bronzers but wait no that makes four wow so for bronzer I do have four uh, the milk makeup one the physicians formula the Becca and then now the NARS one but hey I do love bronzer so I think I'm just gonna keep all four and I'll really try to use them up the Lorac buildable blush in the shade cinematic 
I have used this so much and it's still one of my favorite blushes of all time. This is just such a nice plummy shade and it's really nice and blendable. It is definitely buildable like they say it is. So I'm going to take this one and then I think we'll take something a little bit glowier. This is the Buxom Wanderlust Blush in the shade Seychelles. I haven't actually used this one very often. I think maybe only like a couple of times because the first time that I used it, it did look a little too glowy on me. It almost emphasized my uh, texture and my pores, but I think I wanna try this again. Okay, so in this drawer, I have all of my highlighters, which I know I don't have the biggest highlighter collection, and I think that's just because, I, although I do like highlighters, I don't really buy them as much as like eyeshadow palettes. I think I just have enough that I wanna get through right now. I think definitely the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is just such a nice everyday highlighter that doesn't emphasize texture or anything, but it does look really nice and glowy. So I do wanna take this and maybe one more. I think maybe I'll take the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips. This is in Warm Nude. I like that this has a bunch of different shades and I can also mix and match them to create my perfect highlighter shade. I also really like using these as eyeshadows. I haven't actually done that in a while, but I wanna get back into doing that. I used to really like just applying some bronzer in the crease, and then I would take one of these shades, and it would be such an easy eye look. So this one, I think for sure. And actually, I think I wanna take the Essence glow to go highlighter palette which i haven't used in a while um this one looks so glowy on the skin it almost looks like wet just kind of like glossy this does have four different shades so i like that i can mix and match these kind of like the physician's formula one so yeah i think that about does it i have three highlighters now i wasn't planning on that but I mean, I do want to use up more of my makeup. So yeah, that's about it for the Alex drawers. So this right here is actually on top of the table that I'm going to be using to film with. In this first drawer, I have my mascaras and brow products. And I think for mascara, I'm going to take the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara, which I really like. I've only used this a couple of times, but so far I do like it. I actually wore this to a concert and it didn't smudge or flake on me the entire night, which I was really impressed with. So I'm definitely going to take this. And you know what? I think I'm taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is just a mini that I got for free with an order. And this isn't my favorite mascara, but I do want to use it up. I do like it. It's just not my favorite compared to other ones that I've tried recently. So I am gonna take this so that I can try to use it up. The Flower Beauty Warrior Princess Mascara. This one I really like, but it's almost completely dried out. I might be able to get maybe one more use out of it. So I'm just gonna leave that here for now so that I remember to use it the next time that I film. And as for brow products, I think I wanna take the Essence Make Me Brow in the shade Brownie Brows. I actually have two of these and I think that's just because I thought I had lost one of them and then I went out and purchased another one. But I do love this one for every day just because it's so easy to use and sometimes I don't even use a brow pencil with this since it does have little fibers in there. So I'm gonna take these. I'm also gonna take the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I have this in the shade Brunette which is a little bit light for me, but I think paired with my Essence Make Me Brow, this will go really nicely with it. So I'm gonna try to use this one up. In this drawer, I have some liquid eyeshadows as well as some cream eyeshadow sticks. And I think I wanna take these two Nude Sticks eye pencils. I have the shades Terra and Taupe. Terra is more of a lighter, peachier shade and then taupe is a taupe shade of course <laughs> so these two shades I really like for every day and I want to get some more use out of these I especially love pairing these with my ColourPop Super Shock shadows which I have down here I think I might grab the shade Nillionaire 
which is one of my favorite Super Shock shadows. This is a really bronzy shade, but it does have some flecks of glitter in there. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but I love this shade. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna grab this one. And should I grab one more? Mm, this one's so pretty as well. This is the shade Ritz. This is more of a, I don't know, I guess it has kind of like a clear base to it, but it does have some nice taupiness to it. I think this one would look really nice with that taupe eye pencil. So I'm gonna grab this one as well. I think this is pretty much all I'm gonna grab for the everyday makeup drawer. I'm gonna leave all of the lipsticks as they are just because they are easy to reach for, especially when I'm filming. I just wanna have them right in front of me. Same with this container over here. I have my eyeliners, my lip glosses, and then lip liners and lip pencils. So I'm just gonna leave all of this as it is, and I'm gonna go ahead and start organizing everything into the drawer. Hey guys, please excuse my voice. I am very sick at the moment, but I forgot to mention in the video that I do already have a few palettes on my desk, so I guess these count as my everyday makeup as well. I will list everything that I mention in this video in the description box below, but just wanted to mention that now on with the rest of the video. Okay, so I've gathered pretty much everything that I wanna put into this drawer. Everything's right here in this plastic container. So I'm just gonna to get to organizing everything. Okay, that's it. Everything is nice and organized now. It feels so good to have all of my everyday makeup in one place. I feel like having everything in the Alex stores, although it does keep everything nice and organized, I just kept forgetting about a lot of this makeup. And I think that's just because I don't have the Alex stores right next to me. So I would just kind of forget about a lot of things over time. I am gonna switch out a few products here and there throughout the, like, the month. Maybe I'll do like a shop my stash and just rotate some products. Like for example, my ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. I'll probably just rotate a couple different shades, maybe like once a month. Same with the eyeshadow palette. But overall, these are my go-tos, my essentials. Hey again, my tripod was giving me such a hard time the day that I was filming this, but I went back and was able to get a better view of the completed everyday makeup drawer. So here it is, now back to the video. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup organization kind of video. I know it's a little bit different from what I normally post here on my channel, but I figured I would switch things up. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.